Good morning, 47. We have a lead on the Shadow Client. ICA White Hats have traced the anonymous data received by our clients to one Olivia Hall, brilliant young hacktivist and suspect in a dozen cases of cyber vandalism. Using onion routing with state-of-the-art encryption, Hall went to a lot of trouble to stay untraceable. She is good, but we are better. Her digital trail has led us to a remote farm in Colorado, where satellite footage has revealed what appears to be the training camp for a private militia, led by an already registered target, Sean Rose, Australian environmental terrorist and explosives expert wanted for a series of public bombings. Rose was spotted near the scene of Thomas Cross's kidnapping, which makes him our prime suspect for the Shadow Client. Spurred by Eric Soders, the ICA Board of Directors has asked us to infiltrate the farm and eliminate Sean Rose, along with three other prominent militia members. Ezra Berg, retired Mossad interrogator. Penelope Graves, former Interpol anti-terror analyst. And finally, Maya Parvati, former assassin and gunrunner for the Tamil Tigers. I'll be honest with you, 47. I consider Eric Soda's reasoning hasty and ill-advised. Now, we cannot go against the wishes of the board, but we can conduct our own investigation. Whether a direct threat to the ICA or not, we need to know the Shadow Client's true agenda. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Colorado, 47. The militia has taken up HQ at an old apricot farm and appear to be training for a series of coordinated strikes ranging from cyber attacks to full-blown guerrilla warfare. The Shadow Client appears to unite specialists and radicals from all over the map. Mercenaries and terrorists, hackers and spies joined by an unknown common cause. Satellite scans indicate that the command room is below ground inside an old tornado shelter. Only Rose appears to have access, however, so to get inside, you will need to get creative. This environment is hostile and highly alert, so tread carefully. Good luck, 47. to be here, sir. Up and run.
Hello there. What the hell is that? Okay, listen, guys. I appreciate the Why, you little... So, I just found out that Pavati was a Tamil tiger. Oh, you were at Jordan Cross's funeral, huh? Parvati is down. Um, good work. Maybe you should see a head doctor. Because that shit makes no sense. Oh! Hmm, you need to hold on to your stuff. Don't throw it around. <laughs> oh. Sean Rose confirmed down. Nicely done, 47. Graves is down. Excellent work, 47. False alarm, sorry. Really? No, did I tell you? 
kill you. I got tons of respect for you guys. The amount of freaks we have brought into this camp has increased. Rose is not some planet. But that new interrogation guy with the mask? What bird was it? What the hell's going on? Ezra Berg has been eliminated. Work, 47. The plot thickens. Someone left in a hurry. Sean Rose was not the Shadow Client. That much is clear. Whoever commands the militia, they got out just in time. Look around, 47. We're getting closer. Some kind of network. Power players. From all sectors. Familiar faces, too. Thomas Cross. Klaus Strandberg. Ether. And that's missing banker Eugene Cobb. Well, well. There's a name. Providence. What? No. No, it can't be. The Hidden Hand. Thought they were a myth. A hypothesis, nothing more. The idea that a small cabal of kingmakers, controlling enough corporate and political leaders, could effectively run the world in secret. Maybe not so hypothetical. Keep looking, 47. We need full disclosure. Found something. So? But that would mean... Providence has infiltrated ICA. And Eric Sodas is their operative. Bastard! It all fits! He was the one who persuaded the rest of the ICA board to greenlight this operation. This changes everything. Get out, 47. We got what we came for. What about the Shadow Client? He is no longer our primary concern. ICA has been compromised. I always wondered if Providence was real, but never actually. I will need to confer with the board, but mark my words, 47. This will have consequences.